being a fishing guide is really a hard way to make a living. It's, it's very physical. And if you don't have a passion for what you're doing, you're not gonna last. Anybody that achieves greatness in any endeavor in their life has to have a passion for that endeavor. It just doesn't work unless you have a passion for what you're doing. And I, I saw it, I saw it from day one because I saw the fire in his belly that I've never seen like he had and I knew right then. I think world records and people that that get them kind of fall into two camps. One, you get people that are just lucky and they catch a fish and they realize that, you know, oh gosh, this is big enough to beat the existing record. But then you have another set of anglers and it's a really kind of rarefied universe in the angling world that are just driven, you know, to go out there and they say, I want to break this record or I want to break that record or all of these records. Well, back, back in the, the day, before technology, we were special. I mean, it was a, nobody could do what we did. I grew up in an era where I was really lucky. Key West, it was 44 years ago. There has nothing been invented, really. The people, they knew how to deep jig and they knew how to cast tube lures for barracudas. And there were other things that could have got better. I and mean, we, we did it. We got them behind the shrimp boats. We caught fish on wrecks. We found how to get to wrecks. A guy named Pat Ford, who was a uh, marine photographer now, he's a lawyer back then, but he knew it. And he, he booked me and he goes, we want to go to Luca back then. I'm going, like, how are we going to do that? He says, because I got the way to do it. We'd run a range marker to the sea buoy. We would take that time, never touch the throttle, turn around, then we'd run to Smith Shoals. From that, we'd hit a stopwatch. The water was just covered with everything. It was untouched fishing. I got to participate in that for five or six years before uh, Loran C came out. I mean, I was in the heyday of world records. We would probably catch a world record every third trip. A couple times we caught six in one day. At last count, it's uh, 239 IGFA records. Now, Chris, he'll be legendary, I guarantee it, one day fishing, and Robert will be legendary diving. Chris and him bought me a defibrillator. Now, if you want to know how much your sons love you, and we're one, two, three on a dock, and it's just, that's, that you, a man couldn't dream anything any better. It's awesome. I think the most proud I am is that my boys have pursued a passion, not just, not just a job. When I was very young, the first five to 10 years that I was fishing with them, you know, it was just, we're going fishing. You know, you wanna go? Sure. And I, as I got older, I kind of, I, I realized how big a deal he was in the fishing industry. I couldn't imagine growing up anywhere but Key West. Having access to all the water around us and the fishing and diving and just far different from you know, anything else that I've ever heard of. We would skip school on days and just go fishing, come back the next day and show the teacher what, you know, what we shot, what we caught, and be like, man, where were you at? You got detention. <laughs> go but you really didn't know growing up. Like, we didn't get the feeling like, oh man, you know, RT is world famous, because it was just dad. You know, we're just hanging out, fishing all the time. You know, we knew he was good because we, every time we went out, we caught fish. 
all the people he'd met in his whole life were gonna be you know, so influential in, in our lives too. Legacy is is got to be just you know leaving it to your kids. I mean we've experienced that a lot with our father. You know he's he's gotten so excited about his first grandson, really taking it you know, to to another level, trying to teach him how to fish or you know how to live, you know do do different things. He's he's definitely been uh, an inspiration for me. You know, someone to guide me through things and make sure I don't screw it up too bad. Anything that he does, he's passionate about. You know, whether it's hunting, fishing, his family, everything, he, he just, he loves it all. He loves life. Go get Chris a towel. They're real close up. Hi. Hi. Say hi, Skipper. And Poppy. Put your tongue in your mouth. 